this cat always wants a cameo. Go away! Paul's go outside. I'm shut up. Let's sit at the door. Welcome back to the Locked In channel! No, 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 no. Just stop it now. You're getting too carried away with that. <laughs> Just no, stop it. Just do your bit. I do my bit. Welcome back to the Locked In channel! <laughs> So we don't really know how to start this one. No. <laughs> but for me, I think it's very important because I see a lot of. I'm you know, going. Yeah, I see a lot of gold diggers. You know when and for me. <laughs> when for me. Literally, I think they're digging for the wrong thing, you know, because not everything that glitters is gold. Come on, come on. Because when we, I first started out in life, when I say in life, obviously we all first start out in life as a baby, but I mean like coming into my adult life. Mm. You know, I didn't really have a clue what I was going to do. As I said, I got derailed, you know, from the life I knew and the income I knew, yeah. which was all illegitimate, you know, so whether it was... Um, drug dealing or whatnot, you know, I stopped all of that. So now my bank account. I'm really happy this morning. Oh, you are? Yeah. Yeah, that's really good. <laughs> I think she's missed you. <laughs> I'm just yeah? happy, it's a nice day. So my bank account was zero, or you know, the shoebox was zero. What mama was up it? still. <laughs> yeah, you were up, up like mama that. Mama was up, up, up. Okay, so she was my mama much was up. up. My, yeah, I was going, you than me. know when you're going uni and you got that uni money yeah, up yeah. and you're working yeah, you got that work right. money up Robert. yeah I was up yeah yeah she was in that up space still. you Goodbye, got fur jackets and ray-bans yeah that's yeah. it <laughs> <laughs> so obviously I had this notorious tracksuit you know and on the trouser leg one day I tried to climb a fence and it just caught me right below the kind of waist and it just pierced it slightly bombshell. you know yeah, yeah bombshell. so everybody in the house everyone around including my own wife used to I call wife. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> used to call that tracksuit or that um tracksuit bottoms the bum shot you know so imagine the disgrace but anyway that just goes to show my situation i couldn't afford another one you know so i'd have to wear that and these are the times where i was trying to woo my wife to be, you know, and if yeah. she purely looked on like the conventional, you know, what I maybe have, mm. you know, you could have missed the gravy train. Yeah, literally. You know? <laughs> um, I think, I don't know, for me, I'd say that, you know, I've been out with, I told you a lot, I kissed a lot of frogs, go watch that video if you haven't. <laughs> I kissed a lot of frogs, so for me, it was like, I... I don't know. I, I knew what I used to look for, if that makes sense. And it was always, okay, at first it was like, you know, I was young, like, don't judge me. It was like, oh, the, I don't know, the, like, the gang member sweet boy, I don't know, looks like he's got a lot of money, knows how to dress, really cute boy. This is around, like, 15, 16, I think, yeah. And that didn't really serve me, if that makes sense. Like, it was like, I'd be with them and then, you know, they'd go missing or I'd think, what if they went to prison or I'd be thinking, oh, something might have happened or one of them actually did go to prison. That's another story time if you want to hear about that. It's a really good story time. But yeah, and I remember my pastor, one time I was like to her, I like someone. Yeah, this wasn't even come. So I was like to her, I like someone. And then she was like, oh, <laughs> no, this was the beginning. You was, a, you was like my friend. Do you like something or something? You're my friend. Like. Wait a minute. Wait, wait a minute. How, wait, first of all, you're not gonna speed past that like you didn't just say what you just said. Yeah, this is so, yeah, I was going to church. So people might think, oh, I went to church and I just saw a car or I just found a car. No, that's not how it went. We were friends yeah. first. I and mean, we wasn't even friends like that because like I said, I've always said, there was a clear distinction. Like, Carl was next to Jesus and I was next to Mary Magdalene. So <laughs> it wasn't like that, if that makes sense. He was more like an overseer, a mentor of the church and I was just coming in. Does that make sense? So. Anyway, as I came in, I liked someone who I liked, I used to talk to outside, like go out with outside of church, and then I came to church. So I was telling Pastor that I liked them. She was like, okay, what is it that you like about them? And I was like, oh, 
he gives me money. <laughs> and she was like, <laughs> she was like, okay, and what else? And then I remember she said something to me and I, and it's always stuck with me and it became like my thing that I always say. She was just like, but when you get money, then what? Like, and I was like, oh, I never thought about it like that. Our oh, cat really wants some airtime. He wants cat, video. he wants, yeah, give it to him. There you go. Hello, Joe. <laughs> Hello. She said that to me and I was like, wow. And what it stuck with me is that if you go into a relationship, because of what someone else has, yeah, and thinking that, oh, I don't have it, and that's what a lot of people do, is that, I don't have this, so let me go with someone that's got that, and then when we come together, it's going to really work, like, that's what they think, but again, like, when she said that to me, it's like, even for me, like, if I had gone into that, like, how can I put it, even for me, I was really insecure, if I had gone into the relationship thinking, okay, Carl is going to help with my insecurity, and that, because he's going to do that, we're going to work, and then, when I eventually did become, not insecure. Oh, I can't try to explain it. Then that person becomes redundant. You don't need them anymore. Yeah, literally, that person becomes redundant. It's like, you're like, oh, it's like when you get a new pair of shoes and you're like, yeah, I love these shoes, I love these shoes, and then you walk in them for a bit and then they look a bit and you're like, actually, no, I don't really love them shoes, one new pair. <laughs> like, that's why I, I be, I'm very careful when I buy a designer thing because I feel like, you know, you change your mind a lot. So yeah, it's like, in, like oh, I'm losing my train no, of thought. No, that's cool. So, for me, <laughs> Um, my big thing at the time was that I received my inheritance from my mother, you know, my sweet mother, and I love you, but... Yeah, so my she realized, she's like, son, you've left the streets, you've denounced all of that. You know, you have no money in the pocket. I'm gonna give you your inheritance. Dun, dun, dun. The cleaning job. She just slammed that on me. Oi, <laughs> you know? that job, yeah. My mom, listen, she had this cleaning job for well over a decade. My father used to work as a security guard in the company that she was cleaning for. And um, it was just cleaning their offices two days a week. But it was ten pound an hour, and for my mum, it was like gold. I can't lie to even me; that was gold. <laughs> yeah, it was like blimmin' neck. You know, it's not a lot of hours. Like you get like three, four hours on each day, but it's ten pound an hour, and that was unheard of at in my house. At that time, as you well, know? people were probably on like seven pounds an hour. You know, you so know. my mum really cherished it. No matter what happened in her life, she would hold on to that job. So she said, "You know what, son." That's what the music is. Yeah, so I ended up taking that and I'll, I'll do my thing because I said I'll clean toilets by a night and in the daytime I'm going to chase the dream, I'm going to write plans on papers, I'm going to, you know, make it happen. Cut a long story short, I end up falling for this one, we end up talking and she ends up really riding forget the dying bit, but really riding with me, you know, so she will come and her... I was riding with that. You were working in the bank at that time. Yeah. You know, so I was making £108 every two weeks, and you were making God knows whatever it was, yeah? And literally, she would come... £906 a month yeah, at the time. <laughs> yeah, so then, literally, she would come and roll up her, you know, put on the apron, not the actual apron, and then she would wash the toilet. She would be washing the... I'd like, she'd be on the floor. <laughs> Because you have to really wash all the walls. It only happens like once a year yeah. or twice a year. Yeah. That big one. But yeah, man, she just, you know, and she always looked at me the same. That's the, that's the, the magic for me. Mm. Is that I'm cleaning toilets, yeah. Harpic, Duck, Domestos. <laughs> those are all my guys. I knew them personally, yeah. And she's still looking at me like I'm Can I night. explain? Okay, okay so. <clears throat> the reason why, someone would be like, okay, but how, like. What was it? And I, was, I would say that one thing, Carl was like a big dreamer, yeah? And obviously those dreams have come to reality, but he was a big dreamer. So he would tell me things. And don't get me wrong, I used to think, this boy is literally cuckoo. Like, I'm not joking. I used to be thinking, like, I'm very, is the word, I hope it's, is it pragmatic? 
yeah, pragmatic. If you're not so optimistic. Yeah, I was very <laughs> wow. <laughs> done cast pragmatic. Yeah, I was very pragmatic. So I'd be like, this has to go like this. A B C D E F. Like you're gonna have to do this. You have to do that. If you wanna go somewhere in life, you have to do this. I was a big dreamer because. I hadn't seen anything like that around me, if that makes sense, yeah? Everyone that was around me and my parents had a very linear, like, way of thinking and job. Mm. Except for my mum, but it didn't really, it wasn't really working for her, so I was mm. like, don't do that dream and stuff, yeah? Mm. So, I remember, like, it wasn't that, though. It was that, the fact that Pastor asked me one time, okay, you need to know, what is it that you like? What is the, does he tick the boxes? Like, what, his personality? Um, how does he treat you? How does he make you feel? All of those kind of things. And I realised that, alright, say you had 9 out of 10, no, okay, say you had 10 boxes, yeah? I was like, about nine, eight, nine out of 10, Carl ticked. Like, okay, he, he did tick the box that said, does he have a lot of money? No, he didn't have that. But when I looked at all the potential that he had, I was like, yeah, man, he's got potential to make that money. Or, do you know what, I'll just make the money. It's fine, I'll work in the bank, I'll work my way out. That was in my head, like, and I'll just make the money because every other box, he ticks, so sometimes I'm like, girls, are look, you're looking for something, but you want the ready-made, yeah. the microwaveable, on, the one that's just come out like, come on, like, and that's what you guys want. But really, there's someone who they might not have everything. They're the vegetables, and they got you know, they got all the different ingredients, but they got the ingredients what it takes to be a real great man. When you look at those ingredients, you can tell how a person is gonna literally develop. Does that make sense? Yeah. At the time where I met, we'd be like, ah, oh, loud, like he just talk any kind of way. We'd go, he'd take me to Morley's or something. <laughs> On our first day, he took me gourmet burger, like gourmet burger. This is she's still getting onto this gourmet burger. Nah, I'm this still. is they put gourmet at the beginning. <laughs> don't, don't knock it. Yeah, yeah, so what? <laughs> I thought he was between Byron and Gourmet. The next birthday, I took her to uh, Gourmet Burger Kitchen. And she don't want to remember Gaucho. Gaucho, that's yeah, it. Yeah, but if you're in the UK, you know. And I did that on a cleaner's way. Yeah, it's true. Blim in there. But uh, I, didn't even want, I didn't even want to eat steak. Yeah. I, didn't, I didn't eat it because I was like, you can't afford this steak. This steak is your two week pay. But you know, you know what? It weren't all <laughs> rosy because I'll be honest. When you have a um a partner that's making more money than you, it's hard. At times, yeah, it can be. You know, it can affect. You know, we got all of these definitions of masculinity and what it means to be. So it was tough from time to time for yeah. me personally, knowing that right now, you know what? Yeah, yeah. She got, and it was tough for me from time to time because yeah. you know people were kind of show like there's ugly people around that are showing you that yeah you know my partner's buying me this or the person i'm talking to is doing this for me and i didn't have those things to say but now <laughs> good <laughs> things come to those who wait yeah baby. and i remember yeah. even carl like there was someone that came around one time i was just like oh, it's always showing off man like whatever man because they've got their cars or whatever and i was just like bitter a bit like you know i'm i was living with i had it, like I, there's so many stories I can tell you but I had already moved about 18 times like I had moved around as a young person and at this time I was living with one of my friends and I had been living from friend to friend to friend in the church literally for like since I'd been in the church and it was I was bitter I used to feel like come on like when am I going to have enough money to do yeah. things that I need to do to buy the things that I want to buy yeah okay I got uni money but when uni stopped after six months remember <laughs> like, that money changed yeah so yeah it was difficult but I always kind of had in the back of my mind that he's got the right ingredients. Come like, on, we can make this work. And like Come I said, on, if you don't make it work, I'm going to make it work. Baby. That's real gold digging. I'm going to make it work. Listen, if they're talking about, look, this is the whole concept, yeah? yeah. If you're a gold digger, yeah. yeah? There's nothing wrong because obviously we understand that, you know, life is not a, just a love song, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It, what's love got to do with it? Music yeah. Mm -hmm. You know, get Believe Make in your man. But someone who has the right ingredients 
and you're cultivating that, you're helping them with cultivating those right ingredients. What do you mean? That lasts forever. That can, okay, it can it last can. forever. It can it's, last for long. It's, it can yeah. last it's got for lasting long. power. It's got longevity. Yes. Yeah? Oh, you found it. You beat me there. <laughs> that never happens, yeah? Um, I've been really there was one that. time that really pissed me off though. Yeah. Oh, go on, tell and me. that was when I was at the cleaning job and then her she said, Yeah, I'm gonna come and meet you. Mm. And I'm like, Yeah, 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 no worries. I can kinda hear that she was with company, so I'm like, this girl's got enough common sense to know that she's not gonna bring them through the gate or anything like that, because that would be ridiculous, you know? Because if they go through the gate, I could be taking out the bin bags as I do every five minutes while I'm there and they're gonna see me putting bins into the bin bin <laughs> yeah not that in the, that's not where it's supposed to be but I, you know what I don't want them to see me in you know that kind of way mm. so cut a long story short I see a car roll in and I could see the lights but by this time I'm already at the door the door's already opening mm. you know so I'm like I'm not about to backtrack yeah, I'm just gonna keep committing, but swear down she really did that. Yeah, <laughs> so I walked out and I remember I could feel that the light was on me, it felt like a real substance. You actually remember, actually, things, I remember that, now. yeah. <laughs> and then the light was there, and I could see her in the car with her mates. And she got out the car, even after I put the bin bags in there, and came at me like as if she had come to come and meet. I don't know. Who was popping at that time? Whoever's popping. Like I was flipping Bow Wow in the 90s. <laughs> yeah? She just jumped out on me and was like, like, yeah, my love. Da, da, da. And I'm already, I'm cheesed off. I'm like, what the heck? You just bought your friends. I really didn't get it. And I was thinking, what? This good man. But she really didn't care. And I'm like, yeah. this girl's really got it backwards. Or maybe you got it backwards. <laughs> see, I did You see what I did? It's no. I love us. Then you're gonna see it when I edit it. That's it, man. You don't know what that was. No, do you know what it is? At the time, to me, it was like, <laughs> why am I gonna pretend? I'm not like people don't understand yet. That's one thing I can't do. I'm so not good at pretending. Like it, it can work for my favor, and it can work not in my favor because I feel like a lot of people are pretend. Do you understand? But I don't know how to do that. So to me, it was like, why am I gonna act like he's doing something that he's that he's a cleaner? But I know that's not going to be a situation forever. They may have thought no, no, that no. was going to be a situation forever. I was cleaning. I was not a cleaner. Yeah, that's it. That was you, my whole thing. That's, okay, <laughs> that's true. He, that's what he's always saying. Yeah. He's clean, he's not a cleaner. cleaner. Not a and cleaner. that's the truth. And, and to me, it was like, I love, I always still call, I love like, I, say like back in the day when he used to sleep with five boys, not actually sleep with five boys, but there'll be five heads boys, and heads and tails in a room. Heads, room. Yeah. And I remember, I used to be like, oh my God, watch when like things change and you're able to say this. Mm. It's like it's like God gave you revelation earlier on that, earlier on that, this is just the beginning, trust me. So it'll be like, watch when the clean, like, I remember, this is like the craziest thing, the people that I brought to him cleaning, yeah, they didn't say nothing to me, I don't know if they said anything behind me, but they didn't say anything to me. But I remember that, like say maybe six months after that, that day, he, that's when his things started changing. I remember he came to meet me in Peckham, do you remember, in a suit? I don't remember. And he was suited and booted. Yeah, yeah, and I remember yeah. everyone called me like, oh, Carl's oh, out here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But he's wearing some suit. And yeah, I was yeah, like, yeah, yeah. yeah. Like, mm -hmm. And that's when things started to change. And so it's like, for me, it was like, yeah, you can see him now doing that. Know, but he's doing legitimate stuff. Real gold digger. Like, he's not trying to yeah. like this other stuff that's just going to get him sent to prison. Like, oh, I'm going to be worried. This is like legitimate. He's trying to do something for himself. What do you mean? I'm going to big on, you up. Come on, yeah? man. That's my G. <laughs> yeah. My charging. Listen, my <laughs> as Drake says, my charging. I'm joking. <laughs> Listen, you did it, man. But yeah, man. Yeah, man. Yeah. yeah. And i got to go to a meeting now. Yeah, yeah? as usual. What? Stay locked in. I wanna dance with somebody. Woo! I wanna feel the heat with somebody. Yeah, I wanna dance with somebody. That's what time is it? With somebody who loves me. Make me wanna dance. Can you check the time on your phone? Make me wanna dance. Can you tell me something about me? Make me wanna dance. Make me wanna dance. The time is 10.20. Make me wanna dance.